Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be sharing Windows 11 tips and tricks for 2023 that every Windows 11 user must know. So I will be sharing 10 of the tricks and make sure that you watch the video till the end. And if you find these tips helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. So let's quickly get started. Number one is the Windows 11 recorder. And you can record any of your screen on Windows 11 without using any kind of third party applications. So you need to bring up the screen that you want to record. And then from your keyboard, you need to press the window and the G key all together. And you will be getting this kind of a screen. All right now, once it comes up at the left and top, you will find the capture box. And from here, uh, you can take a screenshot and then you can click on this dot icon to start the recording. And here from you can mute or unmute. And then in order to find your recording or the screenshot, you can click on the widget menu. Then go to the gallery and you will find all kind of your recording and the screenshot. So this is the best option. So in future, if you want to record anything, do not go and download any third party application. Simply go with this Windows 11 feature. Now, in case if you want to have another shortcut to take a screenshot, that is another feature of Windows 11. Then you can use the shortcut key that is Windows Shift and the S key. So from your keyboard, press Window Shift and the S key all together. And then at the top, you will find this kind of box coming up. And then it will ask you that how you want to take a screenshot, rectangular mood, freeform mood, window mood, or the full screen mood. Okay, so whichever option you want to go with, you can choose that option. Like I want to only take a screenshot of this picture. So I will go with this option. And then I will just select the item that I want to take a screenshot of. And that's it. You're all done. Now you can see at the right hand corner, the preview, you can click and use it wherever you want to. All right, so next you can hide all your desktop icon on Windows 11 to make it more attractive and cool. So it's very simple. Just make a right click on your Windows desktop. Then you have to hover up to view. And here you have to uncheck this option that says show desktop icons. And you will see that all your desktop icon will be disappeared and it will look very neat and clean. All right, so this is applicable for the people who have plenty and tons of desktop icons on their desktop so they can go and hide them so that it should look better neat and clean all right so let's move with the fourth one that is hiding any kind of folder on your windows 11. So if you want to hide any folder and don't want to use any kind of third party application then just make a right click on your folder then go to properties now here you will find the hidden item check this box then click on apply apply changes to this folder only then click on ok and then click on ok and then you will find that your folder has been disappeared all right so now in order to view this folder what you will have to do from the top menu option you need to click on the view then over up to show and check this option of hidden items and your folder will be displayed over here all right so this is the quick way to hide any of your folder on your windows 11. now let's move with the fifth one that is a very exciting feature that is opening the hidden start menu. I'm not sure whether you know or not, but if you make a right click on the Windows icon, then you can see a lot of features from Windows 11 like installed app, power options, event viewer, system, device manager, network connection, disk management. Now these are the options, these are the features for which many Windows 11 users struggle to find out these options. Like if you want to view the network connection, click on it you will find your network connection over here. All right, similarly, if you want to update any kind of driver, then you can right click on the Windows icon, then you can go into the device manager and you can just update all the kind of driver over here. So you must go and check all these options by making a right click on the Windows 11 icon. Now, next we have switch between tasks with a keyboard shortcut. Now, if you have multiple tasks running you are doing work on multiple application and browser then you can quickly switch between those application and task with a keyboard shortcut with windows and number key so what you will have to do you need to press the windows key and while holding press number one you will get the first task then press number two then you can view the second task so you have to do all these tasks by pressing the windows key then pressing the different number keys I'm holding the Windows key, then if I press the 3, I can see the third task. And if I press 4, then I can view the fourth task. And now if you have multiple tasks open on your desktop, and if you want to minimize them all, 
all together then you have to use the shortcut key that is windows plus d and all your application and tasks will be minimized so that's really amazing if you have multiple tasks open and if you want to minimize them all with just one simple shortcut then you can quickly do that okay so let's move with the next one where you can access windows 11 emojis in different application like word in youtube or anywhere you want to so you just need to press the windows with the dot key on your keyboard and you will see a small box coming up at the right hand corner and now you can choose all kind of emojis gif from here you can insert it wherever you want to all right so don't need to visit any other third party website in order to get the emojis and the gif okay so let's close it and now you can also make and receive calls from your windows 11 by using the phone link option phone link feature available on windows 11. so you need to click on your windows search type phone link now it says use your phone from your pc make and take call keep up with your conversation via your phone notification on your pc so what you will have to do you need to enable the bluetooth option on your computer or laptop and then you need to choose your android or iphone whichever you are using click on it then you need to sign in with microsoft so there are some options and steps that you will have to apply that we can discuss in any other video but this is a really amazing feature that you can go ahead and try it all right so the last and not the least we have the cast a screen option so you can cast your windows 11 screen by just clicking on your windows search type cast you will be getting an option connect to a wireless display now here you have to click on multiple displays and then you will find connect to a wireless display you need to click on connect and this will be available now you need to enable this option from your android phone as well and once it will be available you can go ahead and cast your screen on your android phone all right so now this is again a lengthy step so i can make a dedicated video if you recommend me if you ask me and let me know in the comment section uh, this is another exciting feature that you can enjoy on your windows 11. So hopefully guys these all 10 windows 11 tips and tricks will surely help you to enhance your skills on your desktop and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye